And Muskan Khan, the girl whose video of shouting Allahu Akbar in Mandya district when she was being heckled during the peak of the hijab issue had emerged. She has now come out in support of Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya after he spoke of lifting the hijab ban in the state. CNN News 18's uh, Rohini Swami spoke exclusively to Muskan. Let's listen in. If I can ask you, uh, when the chief minister talked about this and he didn't speak very far away, very close to Mandya itself, what did you feel about the stand and the, uh, taken by the chief minister? Uh, I was very happy. I felt very glad uh, while listening that our CM Sidramaya sir spoke about hijab. So I was very happy. And uh, that's what I say to all the, you know, a lot of sisters have dropped their exams. So I encourage to all the sisters uh, to continue their exam. Education is the main platform of our life. So to concentrate towards this rather than anything. Do you think that you have left the entry for a half year because you didn't give the entry in college? तो उस वक्त आप ये डेढ़ साल से क्या कर रही थी मैं इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के बारे में और इस्लामिक स्टडी मैं कर रही थी और मैं बहुत सारे कोर्सेज भी मैं पढ़ रही थी जो सुप्रीम को के जो दो लॉयर्स थे वो घर आए थे आके उन्होंने बुक्स भी दिए थे इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के बारे में वो भी पढ़ रही थी और बहुत सारे कोर्सेज है जो मैं अलहमदिल्ला कंटिन्यू कर रही हूँ तो आप कॉलेज वापस जाना चाहेंगी यस अलहमदिल्ला अगर हमारे जो सी एम सिद्धामैया सर है उन्होंने अगर हिजाब को अलाउट किया तो इन ऑर्डर पास हुआ तो मैं वही कॉलेज में जाके एग्जाम लिखूंगी And CNN News 18's Rohini Swami, who in fact spoke to Muskan, is now joining us on this story. Rohini, a very good morning to you. Rohini, after Chief Minister Sidra Maya's statement about lifting the hijab ban in the state, a ray of uh, uh, many girls like uh, Muskan uh, think there is a ray of hope and that they can return uh, to in, uh, educational institutions. Well, that's what they feel that if the hijab ban is lifted, then they can continue with their education. Now, when I spoke to Muskan Khan also, she said the same thing, that she would like to go back to her very own college and write her exams there. Uh, even in an informal uh, conversation with me, she said that she's ready to answer the exams in January and then move on because she wants to become a lawyer and study her LLB. But there's an important point that she made during the interview also. She says that people are misunderstanding what the, their demands are. They're saying that they do, they do not want to wear a burqa and sit in class, but they would actually adhere to the uniform of their schools and colleges. But instead of using the dupatta or the veil that is being given as part of the uh, uniform, that they would like to wear around their heads and that is their demand. And people have misconstrued it thinking that they have to wear the entire burqa and sit in class. So that also is something that she highlighted during her interview. But more importantly, she says that the women should continue or girls should continue their education because that is what gives them their stepping stone towards life and they should do that. Another important point she said is while uh, there are two things in uh, aims in, a, in, in the life of a Muslim girl. One is the goal of living their lives and to live their lives they need education and they are, uh, to attain that uh, education they also need their burqa. So this is what she has been telling us in our interview. All right, Rohini. So that is the uh, that is what Muskan uh, Khan, who was the girl whose video of shouting Allahu Akbar in Karnataka's Mandya district had uh, erupted when she was being heckled during the peak of the hijab issue, she has now come out in support of Chief Minister Sidramaya.